So somebody sent me a video and I want to react to it because it makes a good point. I like the last 20 seconds of the video, but I'm going to play the whole thing. It's only 50 seconds under a minute. So let's play the video, then we'll come back and talk about it. No matter what your legends say, you didn't sprout from the plains like the spring grasses. And you didn't coalesce out of the ether. You came out of the Minnesota woodlands, armed to the teeth, and set upon your fellow man. You massacred the Kiowa, the Omaha, the Ponca, the Oto, and the Pawnee without mercy. And yet you claim the Black Hills as a private preserve bequeathed to you by the Great Spirit. And who gave us the guns and powder to kill our enemies? And who traded weapons to the Chippewa and others who drove us from our home? Chief Sitting Bull, the proposition that you were a peaceable people before the appearance of the white man is the most fanciful legend of all. You were killing each other for hundreds of moons before the first white stepped foot on this continent. You conquered those tribes, lusting for their game and their lands, just as we have now conquered you for no less noble a cause. This is your story of my people. This is the truth, not legend. So I don't know what movie this is from, but I wish I knew. So if anybody knows, let me know down in the comments. I want to watch it. But the soldier here is talking to Sitting Bull. And he's making the point that before the white people came from Europe, any Europeans, and that includes the Spanish, English, French, and any others who came to conquer and to take land on this side of the world. Before the Europeans came, America wasn't such a peaceful place. The Native Americans like to tell people and they like to think that America was a peaceful place before the Europeans came, but it wasn't. The Native Americans warred with each other as well, and they were brutal. I don't want to use the word savage because some people might get mad because of politically correct, but they were savage. Then the Europeans came, the Spanish, and they were savage too. The only difference is the technology. The Spanish had swords, armor, horses, war dogs, ships, and they also bring disease. If the natives would have had the same technology, armor, swords, horses, dogs, spears, and they knew how to use them and they were trained, like the European soldiers were. I was telling my wife this the other day, we were talking about this. If that was the case and it was equal like that, then the Native Americans would have won. The Europeans would have never took America. The indigenous people of America, from the Mexica to the ones all the way in the North, all the Americas, North and South, they were warriors and they were tough. They just didn't have the right armor. They didn't have ships, cannons. So I'm gonna play the last 20 seconds of this video again. Here, check it out. The proposition that you were a peaceable people before the appearance of the white man is the most fanciful legend of all. You were killing each other for hundreds of moons before the first white stepped foot on this continent. You conquered those tribes, lusting for their game and their lands, just as we have now conquered you for no less noble a cause. This is your story of my people. This is the truth, not legend. And that is the truth, not legend. You see, the whole world is full of barbaric, savage, war, it's just how the human race is. So I just wanted to point out the fact that it wasn't a peaceful place before the Europeans came. They make it seem like it was a peaceful place. Then the Spaniards came and just bring war and famine and just started tearing up the land. And they introduced that war. But that's not the case. They did bring war, famine. They came to conquer and they did conquer But the Native Americans were doing that to each other as well before. Maybe not in the same way. But they were still doing it. And if they say that they weren't savages, then I want to play you this one. And before I play it, I want to say I'm not using the word savages like in a racial way. Because I use the word savage with pride. I have a song called I'm a Savage. So I want to just play you this clip to show you how savage the Native Americans were. Native Americans had no concept of surrender. They took gullible people and they gave them land where the Comanche were. They just let these people build these homesteads, and then one day the Comanche came and just slaughtered everybody. They would eat their enemies. They would kill their enemy and eat his heart. They would do wild shit right here, the Nez Perce. They would catch people and cook them and eat them in front of their friends, and they kidnap people. So on this clip, Joe Rogan is talking about the Comanche letting English settle in their land on purpose to set them up, and then descending on them and attacking them and killing them in some brutal ways, eating their heart, eating them in front of their friends. And you guys might say that this was an act of revenge. They did this to the white man after the white man had already invaded their land, and that's true. But it wasn't like if they didn't know these things, like if they just thought of these things out of thin air after the Europeans invaded. Nah, they already knew these things. 
I want to use the famous words of Doc Holliday from the movie Tombstone since I was just watching that the other night. He says it's not revenge he's after, but a reckoning. No, make no mistake. It's not revenge he's after. It's a reckoning. And to me, the difference between revenge and a reckoning is like, say you kill one of mine, I kill one of yours, maybe even two. Then that satisfies my revenge or the need that I have to get revenge, if that makes sense. A reckoning is you kill one of mine, you fuck with me. Now I'm going to have to show you what the fuck you fucked with and who you fucked with. And I'm going to fuck up everything, cut your head off, feed it to like some savage shit, whatever you could think because that's who they were. So a reckoning, they were gonna show them who they fucked with and what land they were invading. They were gonna show them what's up. They were gonna show them that they were warriors and they're barbaric too, just like the Spanish were. Now I gotta emphasize one more time that I don't mean no disrespect to the Native Americans or any indigenous people. And that's not the point I meant to make by making this video. All I'm trying to say is that before the Europeans came, America wasn't so peaceful. America was at war between indigenous tribes amongst themselves, if that makes sense. This world has always been at war. It's a world of war. This world is fucked up. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something new. This is tragedy. I'm out.